So guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a good Sunday. Um, so apologies for the lack of videos over the last few weeks, guys. It's just been um, hectic with um, so many things, factors and the whole lot, but I have to just, uh, that's what's happened. Um, I'm just gonna tr try and get the videos out, but it's gonna be hard, tough now, um, obviously with school and stuff. Um, but when I do have a video out, um, that'll be great. So, um, so thank you guys anyway for the support um and uh, keep uh, keep doing what you're doing guys so uh, thanks it's brilliant um so yeah i'm just going to give you an update of what's going on um I'm, or a little sneak peek if you always want to know um i'm doing two projects at the moment i don't usually do this but i'll tell you what i'm on about on what i'm working on i'm working on a bush hog lawnmower um that's project is coming up soon um, and hopefully it'll get, gain a bit more traction. I obviously have the Marshall 904 um, as well um, and then I'm working on a toolbox restoration. All that needs is a bit of paint and that will be um, good to go and hopefully I'll have the video out midweek if it all goes to plan. Today I want to introduce a new segment to the channel. I think it will be well worth um, doing because I just trying to figure out what how to make videos and stuff. Obviously we're all still in uh, lockdown and stuff like that. So I just want to make the best of what I have this moment. Um, and why not make a few vids on a bit of um, bit of steam memorabilia I have uh, built up over the years um, on this traction engine in particular. So I built this actually last year, this in one video. Now this is before my YouTube channel kind of took off and kind of people <laughs> started to watch it. Um, so obviously people that are new would have missed this. So I want to show you guys this is the steamroller I built. Um, so I made this back in August, obviously August time. The video is still up there. I might even link, leave the link at the end of this video if you want to go watch it. It's not great quality, but um, so that's why I'm redoing it essentially. Um, but uh, yeah, it's made out of just random stuff I found in the in the in the workshop. Bits of steel, bits of plastic, mostly iron and steel really. It's very very strongly built. Um, it's my Mark II. Um, because I built a tr st another steam engine. If you wanna, if you like this sort of video, please give this video a like, and uh, I will follow up with a part two. So that's, that's the way it's gonna work. Um, so. This is a Mark II, I made this other traction engine first, I made this one second. Now I have plans of making more because I have the materials for one, I think about nearly all the materials, I still have to get a few more bits when I when I can. Um, I think it was um, for wheels, but um, yeah, so everything on it is, is custom built. Um, you'll start probably recognising um, what real things are or what they, what they were originally intended to be. Um, but uh, yeah, really come up well. Especially when it was only all bits of scrap. I built everything right down to the wheels. I made them wheels myself. So the inner centers there, either side, are washers. Them spokes are cut out individually. And then obviously then there's an inner rim. They're glued together. And then there's a the outer tire. That's one solid piece of plastic. And then when it's put all together, sprayed up, it looks really well. Um, so this uh, has obviously the steering action. I probably what it already showed you. Um, it also has... the working kind of a piston so there's the big flywheel and that turns um now obviously it's been sitting on the shelf for about the good good part of about six months so or, or thereabouts so um so the engine doesn't turn maybe as best as it as it wants to um oh yeah get it okay now i might even put a bit of glue on the flywheel and that will solve its problem but as you can see yeah, as you can see, the flywheel slipping, but ah, it's doing the action. I'm happy with that. Um, and so, as we go back, as you can see, I have a steam, the all important steering wheel. Now, I didn't put too much um, detail in the back of the cab, um, but or the back controls. But I just didn't really intend to to do it, um, as I just wanted to do all the external things on the model. So the back, obviously, I have a coal bunker and a drawbar, pin drawbar. Um, there's a pin drawer on my other one as well. I intended to make a trailer and um, to go on the back of them and um, just so that you could tow something along as uh, they were known for road haulage and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, I think it looks really well. Now I do intend, 
eventually to maybe make another steam tractor um i think it was thinking of making an industrial one and uh, but that's that's obviously in future plans um but yeah guys i hope you enjoyed today's video of um, just a short look at a, um my steamroller now obviously the most important aspect the name so i named it after Fre fred dibna now if you didn't know who fred dibna is fred dibna is a famous bolton steeplejack um who lived um passed away about 20 years ago um or thereabouts he was uh very famous and very big in the steam and um steam and engineering um side of things if you want to check out and, and see his documentaries um you just type in fred dibna and uh, he's a very fascinating character he 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 loved steam he was said to be born in the wrong era he grew up obviously in the 19 or in the 19th century but he loved everything victorian and and and, and old real old um triumphs of uh engineering especially steam engines he restored two of them himself um his steamroller and a steam tractor and uh, i decided to name the my steamroller after fred dibna as uh, he was known and uh, if you want to watch his documentaries you'll 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 know what i mean so check that out anyway guys i'm just going to leave you with a bit of footage of um i think back 20 2018 if i remember correctly of a steam rally show that goes on every year in county mead ireland in minority and uh, yeah guys i hope you enjoyed today's video and uh, yeah i'll see you in the next one guys so yeah thanks for watching and uh, yeah right guys good luck Oh, so, to put a bit of context to what's going on, that traction engine that you can see in front of us, that is powering a winch that is pulling up a second traction engine that's at the bottom of the hill that's making its way up. Um, with a big log trailer and it kind of got stuck halfway so it had to be pulled up uh, using the winch as an aid and uh, it actually, they managed to get her up no problem and yeah they managed to get her up and uh, yeah it was tough going actually as you can see the ground was very badly torn up as it was wet at the best of times so it Brakes and that one the holder there, steady. But he's doing all that there. Hello. So if I remember correctly, they actually made a particular effort that particular year to have as many traction engines at the show, and they certainly pulled the cat out of the bag when it came to it. It was a magnificent sight, and it was a well, very, very good day if I remember it. And uh, hopefully, when things go back to some sort of normality, we will hopefully be back and uh, be able to see the traction engines once again in Minotti. So yeah. Just after getting stuck in there. The weight of that, imagine. Heavy are we? Probably do. <laughs> Look at the state of smoke coming out. Yeah, it's just she's. Yeah. And, uh, you actually could see that the ground was very, very wet at the time, and actually one of the traction engines got stuck. And uh, here's the clip there now. <laughs>
Anything to get her out. 